All right, I'm back up here, and I'm going to try to get this right this time. We're going to do it this way. Okay. Let's see if we can get this right. All right, let's see. Let's see. I think we are supposed to do it this way. Okay. All right, so I'm back up here tonight, and I am back up here to do a video on YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And this video is for brand new channels such as myself. So we're going through a 30 day test to see what it takes, what kind of leg work and how much uh, work we got to do to get our channel to be monetized and to earn some income. So I'm up here tonight to talk about YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So here's what I've learned thus far and I've um, learned this information from YouTube channel itself. So to become a YPP, a YouTube program partner, you need to get yourself 4,000 views, 4,000 viewed hours on YouTube. They need to be valid views, views meaning they have to be from where, uh, from your channel, public videos that you have uploaded and published on your channel. And the times viewed has to equal 4,000 thousand hours I'll say it again four thousand hours your channel it can be one video it could be hundreds of videos but at the end of the day you cannot be considered a YouTube partner until your channel has reached four thousand hours watched <laughs> at like at the same time, not only do you have to have 4,000 hours watched, you also have to have 1,000 subscribers. Hear me again. To be a partner with YouTube, you have to have 1,000 subscribers. That are 1,000 people that have liked your page and subscribed. They don't have to like it. They don't have to hit the like button at the, under your video, but they have to subscribe. 1,000 uh, individuals have to subscribe to your channel uh, for you to become a YPP, which is a YouTube, be a part of the YouTube Partner Program, which is YPP abbreviated. It's, it stands for YouTube Partner Program. So, um, again, these are the minimum guidelines follow all of the YouTube monetization policies the YouTube monetization policies are a collection of policies that allow you to monetize your YouTube channel in other words earn some income um, to do that to become a YouTube partner you of course have to sign you know just agree to their agreement for the YouTube partner program and their policies there are two main policies. The most important ones is you have to live in the country or region that you are um, that you are asking to be a partner of. That's available. You have to have four thousand valid watch hours within a twelve month period. Let me say that again. So you can have four thousand hours, but if it goes over twelve months, if you didn't do it within twelve months, you can't be considered to have uh, a valid. YPP YouTube Partner Program. You won't be uh, allowed to start your YPP YouTube Partner Program just because you upload one video. Say you create, you are considered when you start a channel and you upload a video, you're considered a YouTube creator. But just because you upload one video does not mean that you are in the YPP, the YouTube Partner Program. To qualify for the YouTube partner program, you have to do those additional steps and get 4,000 watch hours of valid video on your channel, public, that's public. They do not count any private watch videos. They do not count any videos that you down uploaded and then you turn around and deleted it. That time does not account. It has to be current public videos on your channel and it has to have over 4,000 excuse me, it has to meet the 4,000 watch video hours within the 12-month calendar period. 
you have to have more than 1,000 subscribers. Now, once you hit 1,000 subscribers and you have the 4,000 watch video hours, you can uh, then be uh, notified that you've been accepted to be in the YPP YouTube uh, partner program. But if you're YouTube, once you've been notified that you're in that YPP YouTube partner program, if you drop back down to 997 or 980 or for some reason 780, once you hit the 1,000 and the 4,000 hours, it's my understanding that you're in the program. So if you drop back, it's fine after you're in the program. Okay. Um, you have to have a linked, have to have had, you have to have linked your AdSense account. You have to have linked your AdSense account, which you can get through Google. And so you need to apply for that as well. But I'm just talking about the main portion part of the YouTube. The AdSense account is very important though, because that's what tracks your analytics and tracks all that your channel is doing and uh, helps you to see how much money you've earned once you are allowed to get, get into the YPP, which is the YouTube Partner Program. Uh, once you meet the threshold, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watched video hours. Uh, you can apply then for the YPP, but you do not need to meet some of our guidelines to be considered. The checklist to, is meant to guide you through. So you want to make sure that your channel meets all of YouTube's policies. Um, when you apply, you'll go through a standard review process to check if your channel meets the policies have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 valid public watch hours, sign the YPP terms and agreement, make sure that you, that, uh, make sure you only have one AdSense account, and then you're going to get reviewed. So this is what is required uh, for your YPP, your YouTube Partner Program. I don't want to be redundant, but I do want to be crystal clear and simplify the process without all of the hoopla it's it's a great thing to do especially while on quarantine and locked in our rooms and if you've been thinking about doing it if you got if you are expert in something if you are expert at playing a uh, um, a trumpet or if you're expert at doing tattoos from home or if you're and i'm not for tattoos but not against it either i'm not judging anyone i'm just saying if you if you have a gift or a skill and you've been thinking about sharing it with the world a great place to show it, share it and a great place to start that platform is with YouTube. So, um, and this is how you get into the YouTube partner program and actually even be able to earn some income from your channel. It's YPP, YouTube partner program. So again, I'm going to make it quick. Minimum eligibility requirements as per the YouTube uh Help Center, YouTube Partners, where I'm reading this from. As per that YouTube Help Center, um, this is what is required. I'm not stealing this from his page. I'm actually reading it from uh, YouTube Help. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can enlarge it. I'm reading this off of YouTube Help because I want to make it crystal clear to you. And so this is where I'm getting, I'm not taking it from another video. I'm getting this information directly from what is written on uh, when I Google YouTube help. YouTube partner program overview and eligibility. YouTube partner program. YouTube partner program uh, overview and eligibility. I want you to see that. So the YouTube Partner Program, YPP, gives creators a greater access to YouTube resources and features. Um, you can live in a country or region where the YouTube Partner Program is available. So that you have to make sure that that's part of it. So we live in the USA. Um, you have to have more than 4,000 public hours in the last 12 months. So if you start on January 1st, before January 1st of the next year, you need to meet that four hours thousand hours or at January 1st the next year it's going to start over so um, within a rolling year so so let's say um, February to February you got to have that 4,000 hours within that rolling calendar year 12 month period have more than 1,000 subscribers in that 12 month calendar year period have linked your AdSense account to your YouTube channel so that that can monitor 
your uh, hours watch, your subscribers, your analytics, and, and also show you if you've earned any income once the YPP program is uh, gone full-fledged for you. And it won't go, it won't open up to you until you reach that threshold, 1,000, 4,000. 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 viewed hours. Everyone who meets that threshold can then apply. Once they meet the threshold, got the AdSense account, they can apply for the YPP partner program. So that's very important to, to apply. Sign YPP terms. You're going to sign into your YouTube channel. In the top right corner, you're going to hit your YouTube studio. In the left menu, you're going to click on monetization. If you're under the threshold, click notify me when I am eligible to get an email when you've reached that 1,000 subscribers and that 4,000 watch hours over the past 12 months. So you want to do that so that YouTube will email you and let you know, woohoo, you've made it, you've made it, you've reached the threshold, you now qualify for uh, to be a partner with YouTube. Make sure you only have one AdSense account. You can actually have multiple channels connected to the one AdSense account. And then just wait to get reviewed and start earning that income. So again, this is Lady Latanja with Inform to Transform. Wanted to come and give simplify, give clear and precise instructions on how you can help your YouTube channel soar and become um, a monetized channel and earn additional income uh, while at home and, and while sharing what you love. So again, this is Inform to Transform with Lady Latanja. So I'm going to go over a quick couple of facts and questions. So what if I don't meet the threshold? That's a question that is asked on this page. It says get, get tips from uh, Creator Academy, learn solutions from other YouTube users to help you meet that threshold. It says, what does valid watch hours mean? I got that from this page as well. It said, what counts as a valid public watch hour is watch hours gained from videos you've set public, okay? And last, um, what hours gained through following types of videos do not count towards my YPP threshold. Can't use private videos, can't use unlisted videos, can't use deleted videos time, and can't use true view campaigns. It's got to be from your public uploaded videos. It says, if I meet my threshold, do I automatically become a YPP? No, you still have to go back and request to be a part of. Every channel that meets the threshold will go through a standard review process, meaning after they notify you, you don't automatically become a YPP. They're going to review all of your videos and make sure your content meets their standards, you know, qualifies, that you're not using a bunch of vulgarity, um, that, you know, that it, that it's up on the up and up. Okay. And what, what happens if my account drops below? We'll send you a channel for review once you meet your valid public watch hours and subscriber threshold. So it doesn't matter if your subscriber or watch hours counts drop below the threshold while waiting for a review. So once you reach it, it can't be snatched back from you while waiting for a review. Uh, if you've met the threshold and applied for YPP, we'll still review your channel for YPP. YPP stands for YouTube Partner Program. But YouTube does reserve the right as its discretion to remove monetization from channels if a channel is inactive and not uploading or posting community posts for six months or more. Keep that in mind. They don't. They have the right to remove that YPP uh, from you if you're not continually posting channels. Um, and they can do that if you go more than six months without posting. So keep that in mind. All right, so that's my information tonight for YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours. Won't you help me? Won't you subscribe to my channel? That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video that's informed to transform your life. Informed to transform your life with Lady Latandra. Keep that in mind. Have a great day. Bye.